Hey, what's up? We got Hood Fame Lil Ronnie, a.k.a. the best gambler in Texas, a.k.a. Get Money Lil Ronnie. So what's up, man? What it do, baby? Not much, not much, man. Glad and I'm I'm happy to have you on my platform. Like, for real, sincerely, this is an honor, man. Because in my personal assessment, you're probably one of the hottest rappers in Texas. But it's like the mainstream really ain't caught on like mainstream, mainstream. You know what I mean? And you've been putting it down for a minute. You know? uh, lately, been on the Best Gambling Texas tour, uh, collabing with other tours also. You know, uh, the Mexican tour. I'm also on that tour right now with Mexican OT. Okay, yeah, he's blowing so, up too. Uh, well, I just did a Fort Worth show with him recently. I was supposed to do a uh, Albuquerque, however you say it, New Mexico show. Um, an Abilene show also for the Mexican tour. That's just with that tour. I got Best Gambling Texas tour with Soldier Boy also. Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to YAC and Barrio. Shout out to Kev. I got bands. These people is on the Best Gambling Texas tour that I'm doing myself. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, so you put, the tour, you put the tour together yourself? I would say putting it together, but it's already put together. Like, literally, like, I've been on this tour for a minute. Okay. You know, uh, but right now, in August, starting probably like a 60-day uh, tour with Soldier Boy for the Best Gambling Texas tour. Okay, nice, man, nice. Now, I want to go back a little bit, man, and ask you a couple of things, man. First, I've seen so many different variations of your name. I've seen Hood Fame, Lil Ronnie, and I understand Hood Fame is your, is your crew that you came up with. Then I've seen uh, Get Money, Lil Ronnie, and then some people just call you Lil Ronnie, man. What's what's appropriate, man, for the fans out there? Uh, Make it short, uh, G Money, you know what I'm saying? You got G Money, that's why G with a dollar sign, that's short, you know what I'm saying? Or you can say Get Money, Lil Ronnie, like the name is originally made, but you know, we owe them mature now, so now we got money, so that's why you just make it short with G Money. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad you're here to clear that up for everybody, man. Now... What's your relationship like with Go Yeah Yo? I know you guys started in the rap game together. He's currently locked up. Where does that relationship come from and begin? Where did it come from the beginning? Yeah. It came just like a uh, a damn a, a marriage proposal. Literally. Okay, you caught me off on that one, man. I, 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 what do you mean yeah. a marriage proposal? When you have a marriage proposal, the damn are proposing to you is random. They try to make sure it's a surprise of element when they let you know, will you marry me? Mm. They try to make sure it's the best of surprise. So I wasn't expecting to meet him on the way that I did meet him. And then when we did meet each other, we got married to the mic up, down, bumpy road or not. We stayed down. Okay. With the vibes. I like that. I like that. I like that, man. You know, that would throw people off initially with not. I get it, man. I get it. Now, how long have you guys been friends? 20, uh, 12, 13, something like that. Wow. End of 2012, beginning of 2013. Type. Now, there's a lot of rumors about Go Yayo possibly coming home pretty soon. Do you know anything about that? Do you have any inside information? So soon, he should have been home today. Like, so soon, he should have been home this month. But he had a little mishap going on, but literally. Oh, really? So Go Yayo should already be out of, out of prison. He should have been home this month, but he probably had some little that happened in between. I'm telling you, his maximum release date is January, but he has some little because, you know, everybody that be in the feds, they don't get qualified halfway house. Yeah. You know, halfway showing your time. But the halfway house showing your time a little bit, you get to be in the halfway house, but in the free world a little bit. Plus, he had already been locked up prior, so that should have cut his time, right? So that's why you say soon. Okay. Because halfway house, if you know about the feds, you know that you damn near, like, let's say you get out, your maximum release date on paperwork is this month, but you actually can get access to getting out six months early if they approve your halfway house. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm no, I get it. No, I get it. I get it. And it was. A, do you think it was odd that the way that the feds picked up his case? Mm -hmm. Like, what, what do you think? Like, do you think it was just a situation because of who he is and what he does, or do you think it's just that would have happened to anybody? It's fifty-fifty because like it depends on where you're from. But I do feel like he shouldn't win because he wasn't on the books like. You go to the federal penitentiary for being a felon with firearm. He wasn't a, fe a convicted felon, so now nah, it was random and weird. Yeah, and I think a lot of fans felt that they were they were like it looked like an odd situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was to slow him down and to get him off the streets, possibly. Correct. You think so? Yeah, maybe so. 